Hastings is purely antithetical to every variant of the hissing like in a rage. But how did Darling create it? No, it's happening. After all these years, Dylan is here. Oh, but am I too late? How is he? I need to know. He's clearly been affected by the hiss, but it's different than any other manifestation we've recorded. Maybe what makes you so special is genetic. He was a prime candidate. Or maybe it's Polaris protecting him, something else affecting the situation. I need to run tests. He seems... More in control, more present. I want to see him. My brother. Or is he? Of course. Now, Marshall set up an HRA warded cage to contain him. It's on the upper floor, up the stairs. Okay, I need to go. Jesse, be careful. Jesse, when you were down in research, did you run into a Dr. Rhea Underhill? I didn't. Who is she? She was, is, a colleague of mine. A researcher studying a kind of extra-dimensional mold growing below research. Well, I don't like the sound of that. No one does. Look, I haven't heard from Rhea since the Hiss arrived. Would you mind having a look around for her next time you're in research? Of course. Thanks, Jesse. Now, what's on your mind? I visited the quarry. What's the plan for all that black rock? The Bureau has used black rock almost exclusively for containment purposes. So I say, branch out. Instead of boxes, helmets. Instead of blast shields, knives. Knives? Yes, knives! So many combat applications! Slicing, stabbing, gouging, or... Sorry. I've been trying to get Darling to explore combat applications for years. I've got a little excited. Wow. I did not expect that from her. This place is looking good. Arish is making real progress around here. Right? This place is a fortress. And with him taking care of operations here, I can spend more time analyzing the Hiss. I've been attempting to isolate and neutralize the Hiss resonance in blood samples, but no luck so far. So you can't reverse it? Not yet, but perhaps reversing it is too simple. See, if Hiss resonance can rewrite human genetics, then perhaps it's a question of rewriting the Hiss resonance. In theory, that could pave the way for custom human genetic alteration. I wonder how often the phrase mad scientist is used around here. How is HRA production coming along? Better than expected. We've already made enough to get people out of a couple safe rooms. They're here, alive, thanks to you. And we never would have lasted this long if you hadn't walked in those doors. You deserve thanks too, of course. We got this place up and running together, Emily. I should be going. Enjoy your data. Oh, I will. Marshall didn't give me any orders before she left. Guess I'll just keep managing inventory. Good luck out there. This is Lynn Salvador, head of Bureau Security. I'm making a formal security order due to the incident in April. Case number 21HQ593. Improper use of the jukebox altered item led to two fatalities. We believe a pair of agents used the jukebox to travel to the quarry threshold and engage in 
inappropriate workplace behavior. An expedition team found them decomposing at the formation phase a week later. At least we found out the jukebox doesn't bring corpses back when the song ends. I'm having the jukebox placed in a secure location in the executive sector. It should never have been accessible to low clearance staff in the first place. The new location security and proximity to a high traffic area will prevent misuse while still allowing for expedition teams to access it when required. See me for any further details. Best of luck. Why haven't we dissected that freak mutation we locked up? We can learn so much from its physiology. He's a valuable resource alive. And Pope forbade any physical harm. Of course, if you disagree, you could always go tell us. No, that's I don't think I ever told you this, but I was actually on the path to being a ranger once. Did the whole boot camp thing. Even got rookie status. Anyway, not the point. My old ranger squad was a great bunch. There was six plus me. Remus, Hazard, Cho, Guy, Hepson, Stall, and Thompson. They were supposed to get back from an expedition yesterday. We had beers and wings planned. Problem is, they weren't here when Darling handed out the HRAs. Then they had nothing protecting them from the hiss. You see, they prepped for the worst, but I think that we're already past that. We all wore these pouches around our neck, and I really don't want the hiss to get on them. Could you find them for me? Uh, the squad would have come back through maintenance, but they probably spread out from there. I'll keep an eye out for them, Arish. And I won't let them stay hiss. What's the deal with Blackrock? Oh, fuck. Don't get me started on Blackrock. You know, ever since research found out that it blocks paranatural stuff, they have just been parading dangerous materials in and out of the fucking quarry. <sighs> fucking lab coats, man. Love making my job harder. Sounds like there's some tension between departments. Still, at least the quarry's got a good view of the night sky. You know, me and Salvador used to have after work beers down there. What do you know about Dr. Darling? Uh, about as much as anybody, I guess. Head of research, loves to hear himself talk. All of those science types absolutely do. Uh, now he's been acting a little bit psycho recently. Although HR told me not to use that word, so... Everyone thinks finding Darling will lead us to the answers. But if he's completely lost it, then what help could he be? You're security, right? Do you work with rangers? Not often. Rangers are specially trained in threshold reconnaissance and ground zero AWE response. Security is more interested in the dangers inside the Bureau. They must see some weird stuff out there. Oh, yeah. Definitely. You know, every week they are tackling things that were previously unknown to the human experience. Most Rangers, they retire due to cognitive collapse. I looked up the medical definition. Not fun. How does the Bureau handle thresholds? Handle might be a bit of an optimistic way to put it. Marshall sends a rangers in to map them, check growth rates, locate epicenters, take samples, measure stuff, basically. Sounds like he's done his homework. Now, down in maintenance, thresholds are used just like any other tool. The lab coats mine black rock from one, maintenance siphons water from another. We use it for pretty much everything, except drinking. Why don't you drink it? Do I even want to know? Uh, yeah, a lot of time we find these little chunks in it. It's uh, pretty gross. I didn't want to know. What do you think of Marshall? Marshall? <laughs> Marshall's a fucking badass. Rangers could not ask for a better leader. She's a little, uh, you know, intense, but given the stuff she's seen, I'm not surprised. She does have a bad habit of disappearing, though. Where does she go? Uh, last time she vanished, I did some digging into the security logs. I found camera footage of her entering the quarry. She was down there alone for days. Now, typically, that's not allowed, but Marshall is... Kind of above the rules. I wonder what she finds so interesting in the quarry. I have to go. Me too. And you're not the only one who's busy, you know. All right.
They're already getting other survivors out of sight. Great. Maybe I can get back to my office soon. through here? Why the fuck didn't we put a bullet in that thing's head? I heard it's the direction of the Did you He's the enemy, plain and simple. Marshal orders us to just sit on our asses and then leave? about this Arish guy. I heard some rangers saying he saved them in maintenance. They were attacked by a new kind of hiss, and Arish got them out. All right, just when I thought things were stabilizing, Marshall abandons us. Distorts you. Happiness comes, white pearls, but yellow and red in the eye. Through a mirror, inverted is made right. They peered inside the breath door, pushed the thing through the surface into the way. You've always been in here. You want this to be true. We stand around you while you dream. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. You are warm through time. The thunder's home distorts you. Happiness comes, white pearls, but yellow and red in the eye. Through a mirror, you are a warm through time. Shit. The thunder's home distorts you. That's Dylan. Can you hear me? Come on, my Dylan. I'm here. I found you. Do you know who I am? Oh, you know me. Say it. You are Dylan Faden's sister. He's talking in the third person. Always a good sign. Do you know who you are? Not Dylan. Trench and Darling made sure of that. I'm P6. P6. But I'm better now. The hiss made me better. Push the fingers through the surface into the wet. You've always been the new you. You want this Can you to stop be that? Please. <sighs> Not exactly the reunion I'd hoped for. It feels good to say those words. I want to say them. They sound good. They make me feel good. Don't you want to say them too? No. Fuck off, no. You need to help me get this thing out of his head. If he is still in there, if there is anything left, you have to you. help me. You! You came in through the hole in you! We let you in! You've always been here! The only truth! A copy of a copy of a copy of a copy! Stop it! Orange peel! Shit! Shit! He 
I can see you. This is not safe. We found Polaris together with my sister when we were very small. In ordinary. In the desert, through the door opened up by the slide projector. But she didn't help when Trench took me away. She didn't give me any powers. All the powers are my own powers. And she didn't help when they locked me up for years. After the song time for a was, we built you till nothing remains. The air cracks and the truth will march out of you. You are home. The Bureau brought the slide projector back here with me. And the Bureau did what the Bureau does. They used it. And they found... They opened the door up to the hiss. That's the only thing I can thank them for. There. There it is. We stopped the Altered World event in Ordinary when we shut down the slide projector. And now the projector's here. Honey, your worm is a tune you can't stop humming in a dream. Baby, baby, baby. Just plastic. So safe. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Funny. I welcomed the hiss. I let it in. To get rid of her. The hiss set me free. Polaris is using you. The Bureau is using you. You are a puppet. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. If we shut off the slide projector, maybe, maybe that will stop the hiss. Maybe it's not too late for my brother. You must see the truth for yourself, Jesse. Sister. The horrible truth about the Bureau. The hiss is the better option. Go to the Prime Candidate program in the containment sector. I have the keycard to get you there. Salvador wanted me to have it. Wanted? Bullshit. I saw what the hiss did to Salvador. What it turned him into. Okay, Dylan. I'll go. I want to see the truth for myself. I'll go. But only to look for this light projector. You can help me. We can end this. You are a worm through time. But the, you are a worm through time. The thunder's hull distorts you. Happiness comes by the promise of yellow and red. I don't know what else I'm hoping to find here. Dylan. Can we talk? I'd like to tell you about a dream I had last night. Off to a good start. Okay. I'm listening. I was back in Ordinary. Before all of this happened. But in the dream, I was alone. It was just me. I was the only child. A girl. My name was Jesse Dylan Faden. But then the Bureau came and caught me, brought me back here, and locked me up. Have you ever noticed that our names, Jesse, Dylan, they could be girls' names, boys' names, could be anything. Don't you find that weird? I find that weird. Sure. What the hell was that? Is he trying to mess with me? You are a worm through time. The thunder's hull distorts you. Happiness comes by the promise. Maybe Dylan's still in there. Maybe there's a way to reach him. I'd like to talk to my brother, please. Dylan? Dylan would like to tell you about a dream he had just now. This again? I was going to be the new director of this place. 
I helped you get a job here so that we could be together. You were an office assistant. You'd make coffee and deliver the mail. And there was always plenty of work to do. And it stayed that way forever and ever. It was nice. Really nice. That's debatable. But here's the strange thing. The dream shifted. And none of it was real anymore. It was a game. We were in a game. And it was a fucking boring game. But you couldn't stop playing. And then it shifted again. Or maybe it was another dream already. Or maybe I'm just confusing them. But in this other dream, it was more like a musical. This is an ordinary song about an ordinary girl from an ordinary town. It's the ordinary story. She worked an ordinary job in an ordinary office. Something, something, something. And that's all I can remember of that dream. Maybe that's for the best. You are a worm through time, but the risk will distort you. Maybe I can learn more about the hiss from him. Can we talk? I just had an interesting dream. Oh, shit. That's fascinating, but let's talk about the hiss for a change, yeah? This dream was about the hiss. Uh, that's what I'm gonna get. In my dream, the hiss had broken free of this prison, this house. I'd set it free. And the president himself was there to welcome us. He was the first one to take the hiss in. Spread the word. At first, many people thought it was horrifying. That he was horrifying. But also, many people who heard his words wanted to welcome the hiss in. And slowly, more and more of them came around until the whole world was brought together by the hiss. It was wonderful. Okay, thanks for sharing that. For the record, that will never happen. Not as long as I'm alive. But the risk will distort you. Happiness comes white pearls but yellow. Maybe I'm just here to punish myself. Any new dreams you'd like to share, Dylan? I'm glad you asked, sister. This dream, like all dreams now, felt very real. Like reality. And reality now feels like a dream. Maybe it's all a dream. Maybe it's all real. Dream where my brother endlessly tells me about his dreams. I was in a dark place, and there was a dark man there. His name was Mr. Door, and he told me that there are many worlds, side by side, on top of each other, some inside of others. In one world, there was a writer who wrote a story about a cop. In another world, the cop was real. Dor said he himself was in all of them at the same time, endlessly shifting between them. I asked him how I could reach these worlds. I wanted to bring the hiss there. But he didn't want to help me. He didn't like the idea. What did he know? I'm not wild about the idea myself. Through time. Here we go again, once more with feeling. Let 
me guess. You want to tell me about your dream? Yes. Yes. In fact, I'm having a dream right now. Oh. That's new. In this dream, I'm standing in the corner watching Jesse and Dylan talk about this very dream. This very dream! He said just now! And repeated it again now! I'm standing there and watching and that's all I can do. It's as if I'm trapped there. And that's all I have to say about that dream. Okay, okay, Dylan. That's good. Is he still in there? Or is this the hiss playing mind games? I don't know.